Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So I have seen that the craze of Fang company is touching the skies. So everyone wants to be you know Fang engineer. And that's why people often consider service based company as their last priority. Which leads them to miss the chance to land a solid job at all. So most of the time people remain jobless in the, after their engineering. Because they don't consider service based company as a priority or as anything. So they prepare for fun. So let me tell you first thing. Let's break this stereotype. Service based companies aren't just about low salaries. And if you not know, let me tell you that the freshers clearing the hiring challenges in the companies like TCS, Infosys, Wipros are hired package like for the Infosys, you have package up to 6.5 LPA for the roles through Hack with Infi. If you have heard about Hack with Infi. Uh, TCS, TCS offers up to 7 LPA for the digital role via TCS code beta. Wipro offer up to 10 LPA for the top tier roles through Wipro Elite National Talent Hunt. So these are the competition which uh, through which these company hires and these company pay a decent amount for fresher. So I think up to 10 LPA or 9 LPA is very decent amount as a fresher. And for niche skills or certifications like you know cloud or AI, these company can go even higher. So you may never know that how much you you know you can get through service based companies. So in today's video, we will be discussing an important topic that is why service based companies like Infosys, TCS, Wipro, Accenture should be on your radar and not just fan companies. Okay, these firms are not only offering incredible opportunities, but also great packages for the freshers, especially if you crack their hiring challenges, you know, you can definitely get a decent package. So if you're ready to start your dream career, then let's dive in without any further delay. So how do you prepare to crack these companies? The very first question comes up, right? So I'll tell you a roadmap. See, service based companies test your foundational knowledge in data structures and algorithm. They will not go in very depth. They will just look at your foundational knowledge. For that, there are key topics that you have to be prepared. The, those topics are as displayed in the screen, arrays, string, sorting, searching, binary search tree is one of the important topic very must. Okay. Then recursion, backtracking, linked list, stack, queue, binary trees, binary search tree, I have mentioned above, basics of dynamic programming. Okay, they are not going to ask you much of the depth. You have to be good at basics. At least you should be clear. So unlike FANG companies, these companies don't dive deep into complex algorithm, but just focus on problem solving and the speed and the clarity. So you should be good at it. So you can prepare in the platform like Lead Code and Hacker Rank. You can study from Pep Coding. So these are the excellent places for the practice and you know learning. And uh, definitely go for it. You can at least you should be able to solve easy to medium question in the Lead Code. Next, the most service based companies included an aptitude test in their hiring process. Okay, MCAT test or anything. So these tests cover for, uh, some areas which I'll mention. The first is quantitative aptitude. Inside the quantitative aptitude, the topics you should study is number system, percentage, ratio and proportion, profit loss, time, speed and distance, time and work, permutation and combination. Then second comes logical reasoning. For logical reasoning, they will cover puzzles and arrangements, okay, like linear, circular, these kind of things. Number second, blood relation. It is one of the like kind of important topic for the aptitude preparation. Then comes the direction sense. Okay, and then the statements and assumptions, coding, decoding. So these topics are important when it comes to logical reasoning. And I will later tell you what are the resources you can refer to study all these. Okay, number third is verbal ability. Okay, then here comes your verbal ability. Like reading, comprehension, sentence completion, or correction, synonyms, etonyms, para jumbles, error spotting, closed test. All these things, all these topics are important. So make sure these, these topics are, you know, in your list. Then comes the other technical round. So be ready to explain your projects. So write simple code and answer the basics of like OOPS, Object Oriented Programming, DBMS, Operating System, Computer Networking. So these things you should be clear because at least whatever you have studied in your college, that should be clear at least. And then everything else is sorted. 
and for the hr round focus on behavioral questions so your career goals and how do you see yourself in the next 5 years how you align with the company's vision and all these kind of questions so make sure you have a good communication skill set and uh, take the mock interviews with your friend and give the mock interview to them and all these things will help you to you know crack your job interview next things comes up that where to you know be updated with all these hiring process to stay updated on hiring opportunities you need to be very active in linkedin linkedin is a platform where you can follow the companies and join the tech group and whenever there will there will be any competition will happen they will post on linkedin next is nokri and indeed so regular regularly they update job openings there so make sure you are active in that platform as well number third is companies own career portal so the companies like infosys wipro tcs have their dedicated hiring section so make sure you check those sections in every month or so so that you will you know be updated so many companies also conduct hiring challenges for the example i have told you earlier infosys does have with infi so it is like kind of a coding challenge will help you to land a dream job at infosys and tcs code vita it's also a global coding context to showcase your programming skills wipro has the wipro elite national talent hunt it's one of the recruitment drive for engineering students and so on so forth like cognizant also have their gen next so these opportunities make sure that you are aware of it and do let me know if you want more detailed video on the each or every concept so i can prepare a video on that and post it on youtube just let me know in the comment section and also i will tell you uh, the resources which you can use to prepare for the coding i will tell you to definitely go and practice read code hacker rank for the dsa practice for aptitude try prep insta and india wix these two websites for bit getting updated with everything and for the mock interview platforms like pram and interview bits are the great 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 for practice so make sure you have all these in your list so in the end i'll say that don't just chase fang service based companies like infosys tcs wipro cognizant offer an amazing opportunity competitive salaries and excellent career growth these are not just hiring for 3 lakh okay they are also hiring for good packages as well and 9 to 10 lp as a fresher is very good package okay so with the right preparation in dsa apt interview skills you can land these jobs and don't worry about it you will definitely gonna crack it okay So if you found this video helpful hit the like button share it with your friend who are just looking for the jobs right now I know it's the time of recession everyone is looking for jobs so don't forget to you know share with them and do subscribe to my channel for more career tips and I will see you in the next one till then keep learning bye bye